I mean, and I, w- I would just add to, to Jared's point, if you look at Fortune 1000 companies and the fact 80% of Fortune 1000 companies have their own captive, they don't do it for cheaper insurance. They do it because they want to manage the cash flow of the business. What a business can't have is in, I was just got back yesterday from Florida and they're having in their property insurance, they had a 60% increase in their property. I mean, that you, you can't have that when you're a publicly traded company. So by having your own captive and paying reasonable premiums for years and years and years, when premiums go up, you could say, okay, well, we're going to keep our cash flow the same, our insurance spend, and we're just going to take on more risk. Or what I've seen used very effectively for our clients who have had premium increases over the last two years because of the pandemic and a lot of other things is when they have their own captive insurance company, they have leverage. So even if they want to keep it in the traditional market, they if the traditional carrier goes to increase their insurance premiums significantly, they'll just say, you know what, we have our own insurance company. We'll just take that risk on ourselves. And then they're like, whoa, 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 let's let's revisit this. And then they they could they use that effectively to their advantage to if there's certain risks they want to keep in the traditional market. 